hello there welcome back to my channel if you're stopping by for the first time welcome as well and please consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you're always notified when i upload new uploads now today i'll be showing you how to make these delicious juicy meatballs that will leave you begging for more and without wasting any time let's get started The ingredients that I'll be using for this recipe are a kilo of ground beef, three slices of bread that I've trimmed the crust, parmesan cheese a quarter cup, milk, one egg, and for the spices I'll be using one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garam masala, and half a teaspoon of salt together with a bunch of parsley, one onion that I've minced, and three cloves of garlic that I've minced as well. Now into your bowl add your bread and some milk and mash it up. So allow it to soak the milk. This is what will give your meatballs that moisture, light and airy uh, texture because you do not want, want to have dense meatballs. So the reason why some meatballs are usually so dense, it's because they do not have breadcrumbs. So please do not skip this step. So just soak your bread in milk and set it aside for about five minutes so that it can soak the milk well now here is the bread five minutes later it has soaked all the milk and you want to have a paste like texture sort of like an applesauce as you can see here so just add it into one large bowl. Followed by your ground beef. Then the Parmesan cheese. Then the one egg. The garlic and onions the coriander and finally your spices and mix that up so just ensure that you've washed your hands and they are clean and just mix all those ingredients together Once that is done, put a baking uh, sheet in your tray so that you'll set your meatballs there. So using a spoon or an ice cream scoop, take uh, some meatballs. So you'll use it to portion your meatballs. So as you can see, I have some water with me here. So I dip my hands in uh, into the water and this will help or ensure that your meatballs do not stick in your hands as you mold them so as you can see it also gives it a smooth finish and that's what you want so just continue with the same process dipping your hands in the water taking a, a portion of the meat uh, of the meat and just making the ball from it and you can see how smooth it is and they're all the same sizes as well and here you have the meatballs I'm setting them aside as you can see
once that is done you can either brush them with some oil and bake them but i prefer to saute them in my pan on medium high heat so that it will give it a nice crust So cook each side for about 3 minutes and uh, in total about 8 to 9 minutes for them to be fully cooked. So once one side has cooked, turn uh, it on the other side so that you can cook the down part as well. Ensure that you cook the sides as well. And the aroma that is coming from this meatballs is so good and that's why I prefer to spice my meatballs uh, not just with um, salt and pepper but I added some cumin in there and garam masala and this would even make the perfect biting what I love about these um, meatballs as well you can freeze them and use them later you can also make a sauce with it and have a spaghetti with meatball sauce so you can always use it uh, in different recipes and you can even have it with rice as well so i love how versatile meatballs are and as you can see they're cooking really well so just ensure that it's well cooked all around and once done take it off your pan and it's ready to serve so here they are, you can see how big, plump and juicy they are. They are also very moist and light and airy. And this is because of the breadcrumbs soaked in milk. And that's why I insisted that you should do this step so that you do not get dense meatballs. So you can serve them as they are, as you can see, and have it as a biting or a snack. Or you can go ahead and make a sauce with it. I went ahead and made some meatball sauce which is served with some pasta and I really enjoyed it and you can also have it with the rice as well. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't and I will see you on my next one. Bye bye.